Hello everyone and welcome to this new video which is about the LiDAR sensor that's included in the iPhones. As you might be aware, Apple company and starting from 2020 in the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max and also in the iPad Pro, they introduced a new sensor which is the LiDAR sensor that you can see here. And also later on in the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, they have this sensor as well. So now the question is, how can we use this sensor as surveyors? Is it accurate? Can we benefit in any way from this new sensor, etc. So in this video, guys, I'm going to try to shade a light on the LiDAR sensor included in the iPhones and iPads. And to provide you with some information about the accuracy expected and how to improve this accuracy and how to scan an area using this new sensor. It might be good to remind you before I start that in a separate video guys, I have explained the LiDAR system, how does it work, and I provided some information about the main principles of the LiDAR system and some of the applications in uh, surveying, mapping, in general in geospatial engineering. So if you are interested, I would highly recommend that you watch this video, which is about the LiDAR systems in general. Now let's return to our video today which is about the iPhone LiDAR sensor. As you can see here, this is the LiDAR sensor in this area. It might be good to mention guys that the LiDAR sensor is active sensor, which means that the sensor emits LiDAR pulses and then it receives them back. This is completely different from the cameras. The cameras are passive sensors. That means that they just capture the light reflected from the object. So if you look inside the instrument, the LiDAR sensor would be something like that. Apple company, in fact, when they introduced this new technology in their devices, the main aim for them, I believe, according to Apple, was to improve the quality of the photos, to capture some information about the depth, the third dimension of the photos, and also uh, to support the augmented reality as well. However, uh, for us as surveyors, it might be good, in fact, to ask the question this is a lidar sensor to what extent we can benefit from this lidar sensor in mapping in general in producing some small plans etc you would find a lot of applications to let you use the sensor to scan an area for example i will introduce one of them today which is a 3d scanner application this one you can find this application it is free and then download the application install it on your device and then you can start scanning just you would press this button here guys after you download the application this one this is the icon of the application after you open the application just press this button here to start scanning the area for example i scanned uh, this area which is a back garden of a house this one here i started from this point here scanning the area and then i moved around the garden let me show you here to the left guys you would see this is a video i will run the video now this is the scan process so as you can see i started from this area here now i am scanning this area here okay and then i'm moving now along the fence from this side here And then I have this tree in the corner and then going along this area here. Have this some plants here as you can see and then this corner here. Yeah, and then I would move again along this area here. To return to the first point that I started from and now I'm trying to capture some points for the ground I'm just scanning this area here I left some area in the middle to see if the application will interpolate them or not so this is on purpose okay now this is the final result as you can see here I, after I scan the area this is the final result here I stopped the video at this point just to let you have an idea about the accuracy expected from this sensor. As you can see here guys to the left, this is a drainage pipe here. Yeah. And this is the rest of it in fact. This should be the, the same one. 
but as you can see there is a clear shift in fact from here to here okay there is a clear shift in the location of this pipe that means guys that the scan is not completely accurate I started from this point here it's located somewhere here the pipe I started from here I scanned all the area and then I returned to here and we have this shift here and also if you look at the edge here this edge it's a straight edge it should be straight but here we have some distortions as you can see so we can say simply that it is not very accurate but as you can see here let me complete the video to the end and then we can discuss it I'm moving now this 3d model I think guys you can use this model in fact for a lot of applications that don't require very high accuracy for example let's say that you aim to do a landscaping for this garden you can provide this model to a company and then they will have a clear idea about your garden and then they can suggest some design based on the model that you provided and of course this area in the middle guys I haven't scanned this area and also you will see all the area that haven't been scanned in black here now the question guys is this model accurate to what extent this is accurate in fact in the past two years some research work have been published on this idea so for example uh, I selected two of them the first one is published in nature as you can see and they have used iPhone 12 Pro and they have done some accuracy assessment if you would like to read about this it's uh, available for free you can just find the paper and read through the details of the research and also there is another research uh, that have used iPhone 13 Pro and this researcher have a YouTube channel they have presented the method for collecting the data and something like that I will provide the link to the channel in the description if you would like to watch the videos on collecting and assessing the accuracy based on this paper now let's return to the important question what is the accuracy of this sensor if I scan an area to what extent it's accurate we need information about that it's difficult to answer this question directly because this depends on a lot of factors if you survey the same area from surveyor to surveyor the result might be changed in fact based on their movement on their speed etc but for example to give you a rough idea about the expected accuracy we can say the positioning accuracy in the XY direction it might be ab about 1 in 200 that means when you scan an area along 200 meters for example the shift or drift might be 1 meter this is for the dynamic accuracy for the elevation accuracy the third dimension it's 1 in uh, 270 so it's more accurate a bit however I would like to mention that you can improve this accuracy by using for example a gimbal yeah that's used for capturing some images and videos this instrument guys the gimbal will improve the stability of the phone as you know a lot of sensors would work all together to generate the final product for example it's not just the lidar sensor along with the camera along with the gyroscope along with the accelerator etc the gimbal will make the whole system more stable when you are moving around and scanning your area so this will improve the quality of the output data in fact and also we have RTK GNSS receiver as well so this is produced by PIX4D the well-known company so let's have a deep look about this so this is guys an RTK receiver that you will attach to your iPhone and this will improve the quality of your scanned area so very simply this is a case for the iPhone and then you will attach the instrument to the back of the case here and of course this GNSS antenna will be fixed here and then you can start using the system which is called Vidoc and according to Pix4D on their website I provided the website here you can check it if you are interested in this device this would improve the accuracy and will provide you with your friends data it can be used for augmented reality or mixed reality and also it can be used for digital twins if you would like to scan a small area to update your 3d model for example 
In fact, guys, more research is needed to see uh, the effectiveness of these devices, uh, the effectiveness of the LiDAR sensor itself, and also to see how can we improve the quality of the data that we can uh, get from the iPhone, etc. In the end, guys, as a summary, I can say, yes, we can use these LiDAR sensors for small projects, for very local surveys that doesn't require a very high level of accuracy. If your project's ac accuracy is within the numbers that I mentioned, that would be okay. But if you aim for a high level of accuracy, of course, you need more complicated LiDAR system to scan your area. Okay, so I hope that this video have introduced you to this kind of new technology from a surveying point of view. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.